Hi, my name is Edward. I'm here to talk to you about social anxiety disorder. Social anxiety disorder, also known as social phobia, occurs when a person is afraid of performing in a social situation. Uh, excuse me, can we turn off this voice thing and make my face normal? There, that's better. My social anxiety was so bad before that I would have needed to disguise myself to talk to so many people. These days, I seem to be okay speaking in front of groups. That's just one of the many things I never thought I'd be able to handle. For as long as I can remember, I hated public situations where I felt like there was pressure to perform. Gym activities. Birthday parties. Sporting events. Come on, Edward. Do blow it. You name it, I avoided it. I constantly felt embarrassed. Like everyone was staring at me and thinking, Look at Edward. He's such a loser. Giving a speech in class had to be about the worst experience for me. I would nervously walk to the front of the room. Pretty much anything like that made me feel like I was under the spotlight. I was convinced that I looked stupid and everyone was judging me. I started sweating and blushing and shaking. It was, it was a nightmare. I started to avoid uncomfortable situations. It seemed like days I was supposed to speak in class or race in gym. I ended up staying at home with an upset stomach or a terrible headache. I was too terrified to ask a girl to a dance last year even though I really wanted to take someone. I watched everyone else dancing and having a good time and wondered why it was so hard for me to just chill out and have fun. I know that everyone gets nervous and anxious sometimes, but my anxiety was out of this world. I thought that there was something wrong with me. My parents were getting worried too. Edward, your father and I are concerned about you. You are such a special young man, and we are so proud of you, but it seems like your anxiety is really getting in the way of you enjoying life. I went through some similar fears and worries at your age, son. I think it's time we take you to see a doctor to get these feelings figured out. Hello, Edward. Hi, Dr. B. Edward, you have a condition called social anxiety disorder. Think of the different parts of your brain. You've got your prefrontal cortex, your basal ganglia, your limbic system, your amygdala. There's all kinds of stuff going on up there. Now imagine that each part of the brain is like a different building. The buildings are connected by pathways. On these pathways are messengers that carry information between buildings. These messengers are your neurotransmitters, serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, GABA, and more. A little bit of stress or anxiety in a social situation is actually helpful. Think of a gymnast in the Olympics. The stress of competition actually helps her perform better. In your brain, the messengers start to go haywire every time you feel social anxiety. The messengers flood your brain with alarming signals making you feel anxious and paralyzed with fear. We are not exactly certain why some young people have social anxiety disorder. Most likely it's a combination of factors, genetics and learned behaviors. There are some great treatments for social anxiety disorder. What I would like you to try first is going to this website and reading all you can about social anxiety disorder. Many people find that once they understand what's happening to their brain and body, they feel a little bit better. I am also going to refer you to a therapist. She will do something called cognitive behavioral therapy with you. If you are still feeling anxious, we can try prescribing you some medication, but I'd like to wait and see how you do with the therapy first. The doctor was right. I learned a lot about social anxiety disorder. I went to therapy and it really helped. Remember those buildings, sidewalks, and messengers? Well, therapy helped me learn how to slow those messengers down and have more control over how my brain communicates with my body. Having my parents' support made a huge difference in managing my social anxiety disorder. I hope this gives you a better understanding of how social anxiety disorder works. I've got to run. I've joined the speech team and we've got to meet tonight. I'm doing all kinds of things now that I never would have dared to do before. It's pretty awesome. Social anxiety disorder is a real medical condition. If you or someone you know is experiencing symptoms, call a doctor and get help. You can also check out this website, www.teenmentalhealth.org, for more information.